I'm Harold Bailey of Team Westport. Hi, I'm Reverend Allison Patton from Saugatuck Congregational Church, United Church of Christ. And I'm Jenny Nelson from Westport Country Playhouse, and we're so grateful to be with you today. We're just going to be giving some information in those first steps for Layla Saad's Me and White Supremacy 28-Day Challenge. We're going to be talking a little bit today about where you can find the book um, and some journaling. Uh, so we're going to hand it off and, and see a little bit about that. So we hope that you have made the decision to participate and already picked up your book. But if you are still looking for a copy, a couple of tips. This is a book that you may want to purchase if you have the option of doing that because you're gonna to wanna to highlight and make notes and fold over corners and revisit the book again and again. So it is one that you may choose to just own. And we've encouraged you to purchase your copy from a black owned bookstore if you have the option of doing that. However, if you would like to borrow the book, there are some copies available at the Westport Public Library. And we've arranged for you to be able to check out the book for the full 28 days of the challenge. So you can check in with the Westport Library or another public library and make arrangements to borrow the book if needed. Finally, Hoopla has electronic copies of the book and you can access the book through Hoopla by having a card to any public library, including the Westport Public Library. So if you would like to have an electronic copy and then get access to the questions um, through our weekly check-ins, you can do that. And for details on how to use Hoopla and find the book there, here's Harold Bailey. All right. Well, well, as, as, as Allison mentioned, the important thing for, from the point of view of a book is to get a copy so you can, you can read the intro, a few pages of intro every week, and then be able to work on the questions. Because the questions that you're going to answer are the real meat. So let's talk about how you get an e-copy of the book. Hoopla is the way you do that. And uh, basically, if you want to know how you go through getting that done, so you can get registered under Hoopla, which is the first thing you have to do. You can, you can actually go see a video on doing that uh, by keying in Westport Pub Live, Westport, then P-U-B-L-I-B. That will take you to the site that's, that's, that's really got uh, YouTube for the best Westport Public Library. And then you do a search once you're there on Hoopla and you'll see what'll pop up will be, uh, how to use Hoopla kind of a, a video there for Westport Public Library. Now this video will work whether you're trying to register via the Westport Library or any other web, uh, library in Connecticut or any other library in most places in the country. So you can look at that. It's kind of a generic deal about how do I get the Hoopla and how do I get registered? What you're gonna need is a library card um, that's gonna have your library registration number. And if you're in Westport, and they ask you for the passcode, the passcode is going to be the last four digits of your telephone number that was registered in order to get in. Once you get in, you'll get yourself assigned uh, an ID and a, a, and a password. And once that's up and going, whether you use it on a PC or, or you download the app and use it uh, on your iPhone or Android, uh, you're, you're going to be all set once you go in because you'll just save that. And every time you want to go, you just click go in and you're able to get in. Once you get into Hoopla, you're able to do a search on me and white supremacy. You'll see the, uh, the cover of the book will come up, click it and you're ready to go. Um, it's, it's really a great way, I think, to be able to go anywhere you wanna go and be able to read it from any place uh, uh, versus the hard copy, which is a little tough to do when you're in a car. <laughs> Um, so at any rate, once, once you're into that, you'll find also that uh, you will not be able to copy things that are, you won't be able to copy those questions directly out. And there's some jury rig, rig ways to go do that. But the big, the, the big news is going to be um, the journaling package that we're going to provide you. And for that, I'll turn you over now. 
Jenny. Wonderful. Thank you, Harold. So, so I'm old school, right? I have my book right here and it is all marked up and highlighted and written on. And then I, I personally used a paper journal. So that's the first way that you can journal. Just, just get any kind of paper journal, pen and pencil, and you're just going to answer those questions in your journal. So that's one of the first methods. Um, if you're a person who really likes to type, um, and that, that's your preferable method for journaling. We're actually gonna send you the questions weekly um, in, a Word docu in a document so that you can just cut and paste them into your Mac, your PC, and you can type up your answers and keep your journaling on your computer if that's kind of the mode um, that you wanna choose. The third way is there is actually a lovely companion to this book that is the actual journal. And so she's giving you the pre-printed questions um, so that you can just journal in that book. I think there's a bound and a spiral version uh, depending on what you like. And so she's giving you that option as well that you can purchase uh, at any black owned bookstore or Amazon or wherever you get your books you can purchase that physical journal and actually write in your questions there. So um, we just wanna also give you some tips and a, and a little bit of guidance on your starting your journey. So Allison, did you wanna talk a little bit about carving out time? Thank you, Jenny. Uh, it is, I think, worth noting if you have your book already and have opened it, that each chapter is just three or four pages long. And so you might imagine that you just need 10 or 15 minutes a day to really engage the content. I want to encourage you to set aside 45 minutes to an hour each day because the time involved really is the time you take to respond to those questions that Jenny's been talking about. Um, in a couple of cases, there might be three or four questions, but in other chapters, there may be eight questions. And they're designed to have us dig deep and do some personal reflection. So give yourself the time to do that each day. Uh, you may find that you need to do it in two chunks, which is something that I've done. I do part one and then I wrap back around and do part two, but do give yourself the time to dwell on those questions for a little bit each day. Yeah, and I felt that too, Allison, going through this challenge for the first time. Um, that you, you do look at the pages and think, oh, th I'll, I'll be able to get through this fairly quickly um, because the pages themselves are so short, but they're so packed right. full of information and, and wonderful open reflective questions. Um, and so giving yourself that time is really honoring the work that you're gonna be doing, right? That we're setting aside this time and time is such a, a, a movable construct right now, <laughs> um, right? Time feels like it's just changing and getting faster, getting slower. And so really giving ourselves the time um, is really one of the first steps. Um, and I would just say, lean into it, lean into this work. So we may find there are moments where we're resisting, we're, we're pulling back, we feel tired, maybe emotionally exhausted, physically exhausted. Um, there's all kinds of things that'll come up, energized, excited, ready to move to the next chapter right away. You're going you're gonna to feel whatever you feel in that moment. And so really leaning into those feelings um, is part of this work and to just keep going. So wherever you are, whatever we're reading, however you're feeling, to keep going, keep pushing yourself and remembering when you started why you started the work. Why are you here? Why are you present in this work? And that will help kind of reinvigorate you to keep going in the work, that there is purpose. Um, and you may not have purpose at the beginning. You will find purpose somewhere in the book, in the journey, right? It will become clear to you um, just based on the way she structured the book so beautifully. So lean in, keep going, let it breathe, right? Let it breathe. So sit with it. This book may just, you know, you may carve out those 45, 60 minutes and that may be your time to really engage with the work. And then you go on with the rest of your day. This, this may come up throughout your day, honor that, right? As we're experiencing the world, part of this book is how do we intertwine it with our life, right? How do we actually make these actionable steps? And so just let it breathe and let it go where it wants to go uh, and know there is no wrong in this work is just to keep going, right? And we're, we're so excited to be on this journey with you and to lend our support, our knowledge, our experience, uh, and to learn with you too, 
right? Each week we'll be joining you uh, to continue the learning for ourselves. Um, and Harold, I think you wanted to just talk a little bit about this being a really a personal experience. Very much so. Um, you know, normally to get this kind of self-realization about what's going on, um, you've got to have a therapist, a third person that sits there, or you're in a group and the light bulbs start to go on and you start to provide some things about yourself. So there's, there's always that dimension of being really concerned about having someone else be there, either get you to that realization. And then after they do, they know what you've just realized to some extent. This is totally safe, um, but it's, in, it, it's intensely personal, but the only one who's gonna know what it is you found out about yourself is you. And the only, only one who has to share any information you have to share with is with yourself. So it's, it's, it's really a great opportunity to have a tool that lets you just dig in and go deeper and deeper and deeper. And, and you'll find out some things about yourself that will likely be very daunting. It's like, oh my God, do I really feel that way? Um, I, I guess I do, but where you'd normally try to push back you can let yourself, you can let it go. You can put that down because this is just between you and yourself again. Um, and that's, that's what can be extremely valuable. Also, this is something that you will come back to over and over and over again, as been mentioned. And, and so it's going to, as things change and some of those feelings change, and some of the reactions change, you'll be able to update that at a later time. So very, very important that, uh, you keep that in mind. And that's another reason to keep going as well. Yeah, uh, I did want to say one other thing, just yeah. going back to Hoopla that I'd left out. And that's that when you're in Hoopla, you've got X number of buys of a book a month. Um, the buys are, you can, when I say buys, the borrows, you can borrow an e-copy of a book about, I think about six times, depending on what the library agreement is for your library. Uh, so you get six borrows of 20 days each a month. You're going to need two of your borrows to get through the full 28 days. That's, that's just an aside. Something's yeah. going to happen. But anyway. And, and just to clarify that the, that instructional video that Harold mentioned, which is so helpful, is found on YouTube. So go to YouTube and then do the search that Harold described and you can get some tech support there. And on your, yeah, on your journey, uh, one, of, one of the ways we really want to support all of us on this journey, um, if you have questions, please feel free to send them to education at westportplayhouse.org. I'll say that one more time, education at westportplayhouse.org. Feel free to send any questions on your journey, questions about the book, ways that we can support you, and we will do our very best to answer those questions or answer them in our weekly video. We'll select some questions um, that seem like questions we all kind of had, and we'll talk about them in the video and, and try to be helpful in that. It's important to ask questions. We can't do this alone, and it's always okay to ask for help when we need it, and that's part of this book. So anything else, Harold and Allison, before we sign off? Happy journaling. That's Happy right. journaling, yes, and stay healthy, stay safe, keep going, keep doing the work, and take care. Thanks so much. We'll see you soon.